to my channel. Excuse the mess again. I am working on my Macari today and I thought I would kind of bring you guys along. I'm always talking about my Macari. I'm getting ready to post a lot of items and I thought that I would kind of show you what kind of things I'm posting. We'll start off with this. This is the um, Morphe 35i IC Fantasy. Now this is lightly used lightly used i mean barely kind of see how much i've used it i do take the on the morphe palettes i take the insert and i tape it to the top so you can see the shadow colors and we have the drama boutique drama dramatic boutique i can never say that dramatic boutique palette that's this one here the no more nudes this is a really cool palette this is brand new unused brand new, not used. It does have some pressed glitters in it. I think I may have swatched one or two of the glitters in here. It kind of looks like it. Well, maybe. It's hard to tell. A lot of these things are, um, are makeup that I reviewed in the past. The Ice Crusher palette. This is the brand new one from Jeffree Star. Let's see that. I mean, if you guys are interested in any of this, um, I list everything on my Mercari, and that is under the same name here, Maturely Glam. This is the brand new Beauty Killer 2, unused. I bought a bundle because I wanted these crazy... Let me see if I can show you my mirror collection. My room is an absolute mess right now because I'm redoing everything. There's my mirror collection, you can see. And I put both of the cleaver mirrors on the wall. Oh. You can see that's all my packing material there. These are boxes I've been going through. I have my background down. I've been going through a lot, guys, since my husband's been hurt. Um, it's just been a big change in life for me. This is the Spanglish palette from Alamar Cosmetics. Most of these are up next to nothing. This is the Lois Cosmetics. I do not believe this one's even swatched. Oh, it, not, I don't have this one in the box, so this one we can open. Uh, it looks like I've swatched maybe two colors in there. That green and this one up top, I believe I swatched. But, I mean, you get a palette that's barely used, or brand new in, some, in most cases, for a half to a third of the price of what the retail is for it. This is Makeup a Murder palette. This is a beautiful palette there. That is brand new. You know, a lot of these, I see them and I want them. And guys, I have, I have over 200 palettes. And I just, with everything going on, this is a brand new, I, I don't have time. I, as you guys notice, my YouTube channel's kind of dropped off a lot. This is a brand new um, blush and highlighter palette from Pat McGrath that is not used at all not even swatched candy skies from laura lee and her niece brand new uh this is this is lightly used i did use this in a video this is the spectral palette from linda halberg maybe a lot of these are cute palettes these are the three cindy grace temptalia palettes brand new unused i just never got around to using a lot of this smoky glow her collaboration with Midas Cosmetics. I think I've swatched two. So I've swatched this pink color here. And it looks like I've probably swatched that purple. Maybe. It's hard to tell because some of these palettes, you know, getting them in and out, my finger might bump them or whatnot because I, I do a lot of photos with them. These are all of the Kaleidos palettes. These are all the smaller Kaleidos palettes. These are all used except for this one. I've never used this one. That's the uh, Flower flower Punk palette. All these smaller ones. I don't even know if these are available anymore. These have been probably used once. Brand new in the box, never opened. A diamond, the Diamond Light from Too Faced. That's that real pretty highlighter. It comes in like a, a a jewelry box looking this is a pat mcgrath palette i sold this to somebody i have sterilized it this woman actually thought i ripped her off that i didn't send her the box this comes like that that's this is the box she attempted to pry 
this out, these eyeshadows. She, I just kind of nipped it, but this is loose in her piece. She tried to pull it out thinking I ripped her off, but anyway, that was a return from a Poshmark sale. Some people on Poshmark are absolutely nuts, but here we go. This is the Moon Spell, spell from Lunar, Lunar Beauty. There you go. Um, that one, I think I've swatched two colors, the two different purples. Anytime I swatch something, I always swatch the purples. Gotta check the purples. But, I mean, to give you guys an idea, most of these are brand new. Um, I sterilize all my makeup before I send it out. I sanitize it. I use a spray sterilizer on it. I use, I don't have it in front of me right now, Cinema Secrets. They make a spray that all the, all the makeup artists use. This is the Companion palette. This is a beautiful palette. You know, I just never got around to using it. And um, just I'm having a lot of problems with money right now because of my husband being hurt. And, uh, this is It's Freaking Bats. This is Butte Bean and Shroud Cosmetics. I don't believe I've even opened that. We've got Ofra, the Glitch palette. That's that there. Those are real pretty. I think I've swatched... I switched the white in this one because I was looking for a real frosty white. I've thought about, I don't know if I'm going to let this go. This is the Holidays palette from Smashbox. If any of you guys know, this is the best highlight and contour palette. This is like the highs and this is the best for my color skin you are going to get. If you are fair to medium. Let me, I've swatched this already, so I will let you know. This makes the most beautiful shadow to cut the jaw in. This one. I don't know if I'm going to sell this. You may see that on my um, Mercari. I've got the, um, oh, this is, talk about contour. This is the best contour, contour stick that is. It's in Fair Lady. This is the double take. It has a dark, I'll show you. This is the one I use. I use the, the white pearl, the lightest. This is the white pearl to give you an idea. That also, and this blends out so beautifully. Look at that. You want to cut in those cheeks, but I have it a little bit on today. I'm going out in daylight, so I don't want a whole ton of makeup. And then it has a highlighter on it. It was a little dark for my skin tone, but that's not that bad. It's a pinky kind of color. But the other one is just the next shade up. I have two lipsticks from uh, Unearthly or Alien Cosmetics in Diana and Kayleen. These are brand new, never used. Got This is a primer. Don't know much about it. I have got all of the uh, these are the Viseart. I'm trying to split them out so you can all the little petite palettes from Viseart. This is Fenty. This is Hustle Baby, the highlighter. I've got all these on there. I have got the Hummingbird palette from the collab with Odin's Eye and Fancy Face. That is that there. I swatched the green color and I scratched the green color and and the purple color right there these are very soft shadows so if you barely touch them they dent now if you see anything on there and you know it seems like it's a little high I do on some of the more rare items like these you can't get anymore I do put them a little above retail but if you are from my my YouTube page make sure you let me know send me a message say hey I saw your video and I'll give you a discount uh, this is the Mattifying High Definition Micro Finish Press Powder from uh, Lunatic Cosmetics. This is the one that looks like the, what is that thing called from the, called the Ouija palette. This is the little, the little plant, plant, plant. If you can think what this is called, let me know. I forgot. It begins with a P and it comes with a P. <laughs> I, no, I, I have so much, guys. I have so much stuff on... Yeah, this is a bunch of stuff from J-Cat, contour stuff. Um, this is a Dolce palette. I have a Dolce palette. I have an Illamasqua palette. 
I have uh, Huda, brand new, Mercury Rising, uh, Aesthetica palette, Beauty Bakery palette, um, uh, more Alien Cosmetics. Is this Alien? Unearthly Cosmetics, Alien Cosmetics. I have Lore. I have Lore and what is this one called? I think this one was called Sleep. Oh, Sleepover. These are brand new, never used. Uh, Ciate palette, another uh, on the glow. This is a, I think this is a face palette. Yeah, this is a, a highlight in bronze palette from o, um, Oprah Cosmetics. Just to give you guys an idea, I mean, this is tons and tons and tons. This is only a very small portion that I'm showing you. I have probably 100 items posted online already. What I'm showing you now are just the newer stuff that I'm pulling out and posting. Um, I'm getting ready to post all of these. These are all of my Natasha Denona palettes. These are going up literally only keeping, I'm trying to keep 20 palettes and that's it. <laughs> I will be tapping into this very soon. This is all of the Jeffree Star lipsticks, including all of the, um, limited edition ones. I've got all of his, the, the highlighters, the Supreme highlighters. Um, I've even got like the dog toy. I've got his stuff from Morphe Days. Uh, I've got all his eyeliners, all his lip liners. Got a little bit of everything. So guys, check out my Mercari. If you are not on there, I'm gonna put a link below. Make sure to click on that. That will give you $10 to spend. And, um, like I said, make sure you let me know you came from the video because I will give you an extra discount. Another thing, a Lawless, brand new Lawless Mascara. Uh, brand new uh, Makeup by Mario Sculpting Stick. Brand new uh, Jaclyn Cosmetics uh, Blush Cream Blush Stick. <sighs> Makeup Forever HD Skin. Unless I, I may return this to Sephora because I did just recently get this. It, it's in one one R02. It's pretty. It's just if you have if you have dry skin, I would not suggest this. I had a sample of it. I haven't even used this. I had a sample of it, but see, it's a nice cool. T it looks like it would be a perfect shade for me. Perfect, but. I tried the sample of it, and I, you know, everybody talks about it. it's that new unde undetectable foundation. Well, it's not undetectable if you have normal to oily skin, but dry skin, it just dried me out so bad. Oh my gosh, look, my redness is coming through. Oh, I'm getting, oh, I touch my face and it gets even redder. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Plan on much more videos because I'm going to try to start doing a little more videos uh, I will be filming on a cruise ship next week so let me know if you guys I did before a getting getting ready with me for a formal formal night on a cruise ship let me know if you want another one of those because I will be doing that very soon thanks for watching bye